Hi there everybody and welcome back. So let's see how to make an original Turkish coffee in a Turkish way. And I'm going to share with you four great tips about making a Turkish coffee that no one will tell you. So let's begin. To make a Turkish coffee, you will need room temperature water, fine sugar, and a good quality Turkish coffee. First, measure the cup you will actually drink your coffee in it with water. Simply pour the water in the cup to know how much water you need. Remember, each cup of water makes coffee for one person. So, for example, for three persons, you need to measure three cups of water. Add the measured water into a small metal saucepan. Add the fine sugar. We have three degree of Turkish coffee according to the sweetness of it, which is less sweet, where we use only one teaspoon of sugar, or medium sweet, which we use only two teaspoon of sugar, and extra sweet, where we use three teaspoon of sugar. You can also make it without sugar if you don't like to use any sugar in it. After adding sugar, we add the coffee where we use two heaped teaspoon of Turkish coffee for each cup. Tip number one, after adding sugar and coffee into your water, you must stir them together before putting them on the heat. Now, so many videos tell you to stir it while on the heat, well, which is wrong. In the traditional way of making Turkish coffee, you never stir the coffee while it's on the heat. After stirring it, put it over the medium heat and remember the heat must be always on the medium. After a few minutes, you will see the tiny bubbles start forming on the surface of your coffee. Slowly take the bubbles with the spoon and pour them inside your coffee cup and keep it aside. If the bubbles appear again, do the same. After a few more minutes, you will see the white foam start forming on the surface of your coffee. Remember, do not stir the coffee. Once you see your coffee is about to start boiling, you must remove it from the heat. Tip number two. Once your coffee starts to go boiling, remove it from the heat. Otherwise, if your coffee boils, the taste of your coffee will turn more like bitter. Now it's the time to pour our coffee in the cup, the same cup that we gathered the bubbles first. Tip number three, you must pour the coffee very slowly in the cup to avoid destroying the white foam on the surface. When you pour the coffee slowly in the cup, the white foam will stay on the top of your coffee in the cup and won't disappear. After pouring the coffee in the cup, you must not stir it. You must wait until the coffee parts to go down in the cup and then it's ready to drink. Tip number four. Making a Turkish coffee takes around seven to 10 minutes over the heat and you must be patient and you must look over the coffee while you placed it on the heat and not to leave it. So don't increase the heat to make your coffee faster. Otherwise the coffee will not turn rich and tasty as it should be. If you like the Turkish coffee with milk, Click up now and watch my version of Turkish coffee with milk video, which to my opinion tastes even better than the original Turkish coffee. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more traditional recipes and ancient remedies you won't get anywhere else.